Good morning. Myself Tanvi Malviya. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting activity to derive the formula for a cuboid and a cube. So I have a cubical box here, cuboidal box here, whose all the surfaces are rectangle. As you can see, this is also rectangle. This is also, and this is also. So since this is length into breadth, I have made a diagram here. This is length into breadth. This is breadth into height, and this will be length into height. So if we derive the formula for total surface area of a cuboid, that is 2LB plus 2BH plus 2LH. That is, uh, just we have to, uh, multiply 2 to LB, LB, BH, BH, HL, HL. So if we take out 2 common from, all these, uh, from this equation, so we get 2LB plus BH plus HL. So that is your total surface area for cuboid. Now, if we take out the total surface area of a cuboid with, without this top, just we are going to remove this LB from this total surface area. So, just you need to subtract LB here. Since we have 2 LB, so just we will subtract 1 LB because we are just removing the top. So, it will be LB plus 2 BH plus 2 LH. If you simplify this equation, so it will be LB plus 2 BH plus HL. Now, lateral surface area. Lateral surface area means removing the top also and the bottom also. So, we will remove 2 LB from here. I have written subtracting 2 LB from the total surface area. That is, just we will remove this equation 2 LB. So, we will get 2 breadth into height plus 2 length into height. That is, we will simplify again. So, 2H, 2H is going to be common here. So, it will be 2H breadth plus length. Now, for cube. Here I have taken a Rubik's cube whose all the surfaces are square and I have just assumed one side will be L. Okay, so I have made a diagram also. All these sides are L as you can see here. So if we discuss about the total surface area of a cube, that is L into L, that is means uh, if you take out one, if you take out, if you are taking out in the surface area of one, uh, one face, that is length into length. Because if you take out length into breadth, so it, all these lengths are, le this is also length and this is also length. Since both are equal. So, we will multiply length into length plus length into length plus length into length. And we will take out two because you have six phases of a cube. And uh, so, you will take common, this will be L square plus L square plus L square. Since you have three L square, so it is two into 3L square, that is 2, 3, the 6, that is 6L square. Now, total surface area without the top. Now, this is the top of my Rubik's cube, so I'll just remove this yellow surface and I'm going to take out the surface uh, without the top. That is just subtracting L square from this total surface area, that is 2L square plus L square plus L square minus L square, that is 6L square minus L square, so you will get 5L square. Now, lateral surface area. As I explained, lateral surface area is removing the top also and the bottom also. So, I will just remove this white portion also from here. So, it is 2L square. I am just subtracting the 2L square from the total surface area. So, I will get 6L square minus 2L square. So, I will get 4L square. Thank you.